Hey people, it is Tuesday, February the 14th, which is Valentine's Day. And it's currently 4.55 in the afternoon. And it's a pleasant 9 degrees Celsius. And I am walking south here on Simcoe Street. Approaching Wellington Street. And I'm going to make my way west along Wellington Street. And I'll walk through a couple of city parks and make my way past the well development down to the Billy Bishop Airport Terminal at the foot of Bathurst Street. And it is rush hour. I just walked through the financial district before starting the video and it was very busy. I think it was busier than it was when I did my walk through there last Wednesday. It looked almost pre-pandemic levels of busy in my opinion. So I think the sorry state of pedestrian activity in the financial district is being a bit exaggerated in some recent media releases and stories. Didn't seem like that to me. Maybe the warm weather today had something to do with that. Maybe a lot more people saw the nice, sunny, mild weather and decided, hey, why not come into the office today? Maybe I'll take advantage of the pleasant conditions and walk around downtown after work or during my lunch hour and do some things that I haven't done in a while. Walking past the Ritz Carlton. And there's the CN Tower disappearing behind the CBC headquarters building. One of the more unusual art installations downtown. I'm not even sure what those are supposed to be. They don't look like any real animal that I have ever seen. Crossing John Street.
we are walking into the setting sun. It seems to be a theme lately, whether I like it or not, with these days being still relatively short. I often don't get outside to record until close to sunset time and oftentimes find myself recording in the last little bits of daylight. And part of the reason why I wanted to walk along Wellington Street was because last time I did, it was dark out. And I was walking past the well development, just on the other side of Spadina. And there was lots of new sidewalk construction with new interlocking bricks and benches and trees. And it all looked very nice, but it was dark at the time and I wasn't able to really capture it very well, so I thought I would come back another time while it was still light out. So that's what I'm doing now, although the light is rapidly disappearing, but I think I'll get there in time. There's Blue Jay's Way. going to unzip, being that it's so mild out. I don't really need to have this coat zipped up with a hoodie underneath. I think I could have done without the hoodie, actually. There's the well development right over there. So we're going to take a walk through Clarence Square Park. I don't know, cute or creepy? A little bit of both, perhaps. So here's Clarence Square, the street, and Clarence Square Park. I think this tree has lived its life. Oh yeah, you know, I need these guys to close up. Kirk would be like, that's your job. Yeah. I don't pay my guys to do it. Like, like, yeah. Let's try and make this light before it turns. There's a long countdown here. It's crossing Spadina Avenue.
And this is always a traffic nightmare at this time of day. Southbound on Spadina towards the Gardner Expressway. And here's that new section of sidewalk. So now we can get a proper look at it. I think some plants and greenery will be going in here. Got lots of nice benches. More place for plants. Still is a bit dark, I can see in the viewfinder. Oh well. Once the days are longer, I'll have to come back when this is closer to completion. The well development, I think, is supposed to be completed hopefully by the summer and open to the public. It'll be a large retail complex attached to the office tower and several residential buildings. Sort of a mall that will be partially open air. With several levels. stretch of Wellington is finished with all the construction, I think it'll be one of the more attractive stretches of streets downtown. And there's looking into the new retail component. As there are many nice historic buildings along here. The street just had a bit of a rough, unfinished look to it, which hopefully will be all properly finished up with nice sidewalks on both sides. And some more greenery. These sidewalks definitely need some improvement. I think some restaurants along here would definitely liven things up too with some patios. There are some already in place with some patios as you can see here. Here's another small but attractive park. 
I believe this is called the Victoria Memorial Park. Of course, at this time of year, it doesn't look quite as attractive as it would in the summertime. Crossing Portland Street. Victoria Memorial Square is actually the proper name I just saw on that sign. Definitely a bit of a muddy mess right now. And back on Wellington. Casa Madera. And this is Bathurst Street up ahead. New mid-rise developments popping up all along Bathurst Street. Looking up Niagara Street, and Niagara continues on. That's an interesting street to walk along in its own right. And I have done some videos of Niagara Street before. It sort of defies the grid. It runs in a sort of a big circular route cutting through the west side of the old city. neighborhood farm boy it's a grocery store rather expensive grocery store
lots of people on the street. This is a highly populated area. Very dense city place neighborhood just over here. One of the densest neighborhoods in the city. And on the other side is the Fort York neighborhood, which is similar, just not quite as big as City Place. And looking down at the rail corridor. Here comes the GO train. And just keep walking as the train goes by. Lots of traffic on Bathurst Street as well. Not as bad as Spadina, but definitely nothing you want to have to deal with on a regular basis. And unfortunately, most of these people do deal it deal with it on a regular basis, since they most likely commute in and out of the city. Something I am glad I don't have to do. So we have City Place on the left and Fort York on the right. And that other cluster behind the trees over there is Liberty Village. Light too. You're not for a light. I was looking right into the city place. Gardner Expressway with condos literally built right up to the sides of it almost. And an LCBO tucked underneath. It's like every square foot of space in Toronto is being maximized. See how close the side of that building is to the expressway. That one doesn't have any windows or balconies facing it though on that side. Some other buildings do though. Matter of fact, this one right here does. So people on balconies on that side can look right out onto the cars whizzing by on the expressway.
And here's another large grocery store. This is a Loblaws. I think this is where Loblaws used to have their main warehouse facility. And that old building was incorporated into this new condo development where they tore it down but then rebuilt the facades. And quite fittingly put a Loblaws inside. And here's Lakeshore Boulevard. See the Loblaws. And there's also a Shoppers Drug Mart and a Joe Fresh. They did a good job of reconstructing the facades. You would never know that that building was completely torn down. the cars actually stop at the red lights here everyone seems to be driving like their life depends on it And here's where Bathurst Street comes to an end. Where it meets Queen's Key. The last leg heading down to the Billy Bishop Airport Terminal has a name that I always have a bit of trouble pronouncing. I'll have to get a look at the sign before I even try and pronounce it this time. Let's make sure we make this light. Crossing in Queen's Key. There's a very busy cycle path running along Queen's Key here. Iron, Iron Key, I almost said Quay. Iron Key, I'm not sure if that's the proper way to pronounce it. But this takes you right down to the Billy Bishop tunnel access. The terminal itself is on the island, so you enter this building up ahead. And there is a underwater tunnel and you can walk to get over to the airport itself. And I have done a video walking through that tunnel before. If you're interested in checking that out. It's pretty cool. You have to go down some major, 
majorly long staircases or escalators to get down to tunnel level and then back up again on the other side. So I'm going to start wrapping up the video here as we approach the Billy Bishop Airport Terminal Tunnel. So I hope you enjoyed the walk. Leave a comment below, let me know your thoughts. And be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also be sure to hit the notification bell. That way you won't miss any of my videos. If you'd like to support the channel, there are links in the description where you can do so via PayPal. As well as via my merch store. And there's also a super thanks button right down below. And you can find me on Instagram under K Continuum. So thanks for watching. And be sure to keep checking back because, as always, I will continue.